Hello once again everybody, this is Multi Holsters coming at you, www.multiholsters.com and if you have any questions please feel free to email me at multiholsters at yahoo.com Wanted to come at you today with a uh, quick video you know uh, we here at Multi Holsters uh, want to try to um, come at you with every possible uh, possibility when it comes to lights and lasers and that kind of thing that's kind of like uh, become our specialty and um, I had somebody approach me and ask me if I could do a, um, a laser setup for a Beretta. Now this uh, video is not going to be geared towards everybody. Um, this is pretty much for a select few. But this just got, goes to show you the versatility and the lengths we go through uh, at Multi Holsters to accommodate. Basically, um, let's start off by uh, looking at the weapon. It is a uh, Model 96 from Beretta. It is clear. It is a 40 caliber. Magazine's empty and we are safe. Now if you take a close look at this, this is a Model 96. It does not have a rail, but it has this aftermarket Picatinny rail that uh, I purchased off of the Beretta website. And basically this is it. And if I show you real close, it is a BERA1 Picatinny rail mount for the Beretta F92 pistol. Obviously it uh, fits uh, the um, Berettas without the rail. Essentially what this does is it allows you to put a rail on this weapon if you have a light or a laser for it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have, I just took this one out of our uh, stock this is the Viridian X5L. This is the Generation 2. It's a very, very popular light laser combination. A lot of people who have Berettas uh, are familiar with uh, either the C5L or the X5L. And basically, that's what you have. So if you, you have the uh, weapon without the rail system, you can purchase this aftermarket rail system from the Beretta website and put a light or a laser on it. Now, when I contacted Beretta, they uh, started talking to them a little bit and um, I let them know that I was a holster maker and they said, wow, you know, uh, uh, we have nobody else anywhere that makes a holster for that setup. And uh, I'm actually going to be trying to work with Beretta to see if I can get on their website or in their, their book here. But um, we'll see how that goes. But nonetheless, that's why I wanted to put a YouTube video out and I wanted to let people know that if you have this rail system for this weapon, that uh, we have everything to uh, set you up. We have a, a, a very large array of lights and lasers and whatnot, and we can probably uh, get you into a holster without any problems. First off, this is uh, the uh, inside the waistband holster. It is made out of .08 Kydex. What we try to do is incorporate a full sweat shield, body shield, um, helps to keep perspiration away from the, the gun. Also, the other th second thing it does is it helps to index the gun when you're holstering it. The clip is made out of .125. It is quite a bit stronger than the, uh, than the body of the holster. It is held on with a couple of uh, 4140 Chicago style screws. This one here has uh, a, an FBI cant, which is about 15, 20 degrees. And uh, we do also incorporate as much as we can retention screws. So without further ado, this is what it looks like in the holster. It has that nice positive click, upside down shake test. The gun does not come out. Now granted, this is a pretty sizable gun to wear inside the waistband. So if that doesn't work for you, we also have what I call the multi. The multi is basically a uh, new style that we uh, came out with. We uh, re redesigned our old multi. Multi. This is our Gen 2. We have uh, the uh, hard belt loops that you can put multi-positional uh, on the holster. If you want to adjust for ride height, if you want to adjust for cant. Uh, we do also have the uh, retention screw in there if you want to make it a little bit tighter, a little looser. And basically, this is what it looks like. The other thing with this too is if you do want to wear this inside the waistband, there is other hardware you can fasten to the uh, front of this. 
and you can make this an inside the waistband uh, holster. You just take off these hard belt loops, put on the, uh, the other uh, inside the waistband hardware, and voila. So basically this is the uh, holster that we have for outside the waistband. It is obviously a pretty good size, but once again we're dealing with a pretty good sized weapon. Once again, upside down shake test. This is a pretty heavy, girthy gun. Doesn't come out, but so basically, there it is. If you have this weapon, if you have that light combination, and you're looking for a holster, we made these up as demos. These are ready to go. They are right-handed. This one here does have a can to it. This one can be either straight or canted, depending on how you place the hardware. Once again, if you have this rail system by Beretta, uh, please feel free to give me a, a shout at www. Uh, I'm sorry, www.multiholsters.com is the uh, website address, and my email is multiholsters at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching. Until next time, shoot straight.